Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Alright guys, I just woke up, as you can see. I had to put lotion on my face because I looked ashy. But I just brushed my teeth and stuff, so I was like, alright, let me just record a video today. I have a lot of stuff to do this weekend because I'm leaving on Tuesday for Thanksgiving break. I just have a lot of stuff to do, like college, like it's really crunch time right now. It's just like, bro, I'm tired, like, I'm really tired of doing work, like I'm tired of school, like I'm tired of all this, like I just want to just lay down and enjoy my break. But I was like, let me just get this video out the way because I already recorded this story time, but I didn't really like, I was just like, I don't know, I really, really didn't like that version, so I was like, let me just like do another one. And right now, I'm currently taking out my hair because I'm going back home and um, I'm, I have like a, a hair appointment ready. So, I'm going to show you. It's, I did a lot. Like in an hour, I did a lot. This is like basically what's going on here. So, we're just going to dive right into the story time. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn those post notifications on for every time I post a new vlog. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is a story time, obviously, from the title, um, My First Fight. Um, I'm gonna, like, make it easier, like, for you guys and just, like, establish the nicknames I'll be using. Okay, so the girl I actually fought, the, I'm gonna just use the name Blue because I don't really want to, like, you know, say names, drop names. It's kind of crazy. So I'm gonna name that girl Blue. I'm gonna name her best friend um, Orange. I'm gonna just start off by saying that this is not me like trying to talk shit trying to like stir up any issues again this is simply me getting content for my youtube channel or in these type of story times like they're good for people's like channels and they blow up and stuff so it's not me trying to like you know talk shit and like stir start problems and stuff because that's not like that's not who i am so if i would like you know that's that's not what i'm really aiming to do um, I'm really just aiming to get some content for my viewers and people that support me in my channel. It all started off as we all were in a huge group chat. Like, it was pretty big. Like, I'm not gonna lie, it was pretty big. Um, it was, like, about 10 of us, probably. So, it was me, my old friends, um, Blue and Orange, and then just these other two girls. Um, they're not really relevant enough to give them a name. So, we were in a big big group chat and you know already like girl groups like it get real mixy sometimes like it really get real messy so um basically one time we was all talking about um you know just boys and sex and stuff you know because a lot of the not a lot of the girls but some of the girls like in the group chat had already like had boyfriends um that they were dating for like a long time and of course like you know when you're dating someone like you know you're gonna obviously just end up having sex i had not really been too into boys um i wasn't really like very confident in myself and i didn't really look a certain way for me to talk to boys and stuff like boys wanted to talk to like you know pretty girls and stuff and i wasn't i was a little ugly so you know i really did not have really any experience with, with guys we were all like in a group chat just talking about that stuff and i was like yeah like i just couldn't imagine myself losing my virginia at 14 and the way that blue had took it was that mind you me and blue were like friends we was cool like you know before before we had gotten off like we was cool like we wasn't like oh my god besties but like you know a friend of you know like whoever's friends with my friends i you know you my friend too like we all hanging out like we all chill we all went to the same school yeah after i said like i couldn't imagine myself losing my virginia at 14 i guess she felt away but the way that the reason why I said that is because I had not been in a relationship. Like, it's different if you were in a relationship and you with the guy for mad long and you dating him, whatever the case may be. Y'all got history. I, but I, I experienced that type of that type of relationship with any type of guy. So if I was to be losing my virginity at fourteen, I would just be freestyling at that point. I, that that's just not me. I wasn't saying that to judge anybody in the group chat, but you know that's how it came off. And you know, I could see like why she like felt away because just like oh like are you trying to be funny, but. I explained to her multiple times, like, no, that's not, you know, that was not my agenda at all. Like, you know, I was just simply, like, saying my opinion. Like, you know, I just wouldn't do that because, you know, like, I'm not in a relationship. And, you know, that's that is kind of young. Like, I, that's, that's kind of young to lose your virginity. That's a little young, like, you know. And I feel like you're not even mentally and emotionally, like, 
like, you know, mature to be, like, having sex at 14. But, you know, I, I'm not judging anybody that does it. Like, you know, that's, that, you know, that's just my opinion. That's just my, you know. But sometimes people's opinions don't need to be spoken on. Sometimes you don't need to, you know. And I understand that, like, some things don't need to be said. And, you know, I didn't understand that at the time. But I see now. After that, um, she just kind of just, she didn't really like that I said that. And she just felt like I was trying to be funny or whatever. And, um, from then on, I try to speak to her, like, I try to, um, text her, and, like, you know, like, just squash the issue, but she didn't want to be my friend, respectfully, I understand, like, you know, and with me, I'm not a fiend for friends, so if you don't want to be my friend, I'm gonna respectfully fall back, because just, like, you know, like, you say you don't want to be my man, so it's just, like, alright, you don't want to be my man, whatever, we all in the same group chat, you know, we all still in the same friend group, but it's just, like, alright, and I also feel like what added fool to the fire was that I was really getting close to her best friend, Orange. So she ain't really like, she probably ain't really like that either. Cause just like, all right, like, you know, you, you, you and Orange, y'all hanging out all the time. Y'all, you know, she telling you stuff. She not telling me stuff. And it's just like, you know, that probably also made her feel like, all right, I don't like this girl. Right after that, we just stopped talking. And then one day, um, this is around the time I, me and Orange, like we was hanging out a lot. And we was going to her boyfriend's basketball games at our rival school. And, um, yeah, so we was going to those games. And, like, a lot of the times, you know, like, it'd be, like, it'd be just weird vibes. Like, you know, like, rival schools, you know, the girls and stuff. You know, all that, all that drama stuff. All that good, good high school drama stuff. I'm not going to get into it because it's, like, it's done. I'm not going to sit here and talk about girls I don't even talk about. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and talk about girls I don't talk to. So, like, we had peeped that, you know, the girls was move a little funny at the rival school. Like, they was being a little, like, you know, like, what's tea? Like, so, I had made a little post on my, on my, um, spam page just saying, like, nah, like, you know, like, you know, the, the, the bitches is wildin', feel me? My first thought wasn't, oh, yeah, this is about blue. But she popped up in mind when I did make the post. So, yeah, like, I definitely was, like, I definitely was the problem, too. Because just, like, you know, I didn't have to post that, like, at the end of the day. Like, and she was still on my, she was still on my spam page when I did make that post. So, um, I kind of just was a little careless about that, and yes, like, I could definitely admit, like, I threw, I threw a rock, and I hit my hands, like, I definitely, like, you know, but what really, like, made it escalate was that I peeped that she liked a comment that I commented under the post, and I was like, in my head, I'm like, oh, she liking my comment, she, you know, she's trying to be funny, because I'm like, why are you liking my comment, and I go up to her, like, and this is when I'm in lunch. We in lunch. We all in lunch. And my, my friend at the time was sitting with her. I, I I didn't sit with her because it's just like, you know, I'm not sitting with somebody that don't like me. You know, that's that's just period. So I was sitting with my other friend. But yeah, like, my friend at the time was sitting with her. And um, I went up to her and I'm like, oh, like, why you like my comment under my under my spam post? And she was like, oh, no, like, I know, like, I didn't do that. Like, I was just like... I was just scrolling through. I accidentally liked it. I was like, how the fuck you accidentally like a comment? You know that girl that, that, that went viral for saying she accidentally sucked dick? What? Suck dick on accident. How the fuck do you suck dick? That's the same shit. How, how the fuck you accidentally like a comment? From then, it just started escalating. She started like, she started clapping her hands in my face. I'm just like, girl, we not doing this. And we in a lunchroom. I'm not getting suspended for, for touching nobody's child. I'm not doing that. So eventually like the administrators came to break it up and stuff and my friends at the time was like oh claudia like why are you being mean nah, nah, nah. shut the fuck up like shut the fuck up like please like girl bye like i was just not having it with them either because like y'all are mad weird after that we went to the office you know they spoke to us whatever they was just you know they was telling me my wrongs at the time i didn't see my wrongs but i definitely see that how how that was wrong because like girl like why are you posting subs like like, like, let's be a little mature. Like, that was definitely not a mature Claudia moment. I'll definitely say that. That's the last time we really spoke or we really had, like, any type of, like, you know, run-ins to each other. Like, after that, we literally just stopped, stopped, like, speaking in general. Like, we, like, after that, like, we went months. And then that's when the pandemic hit. So, it was just, like, we really did not see each other after that. So, it was really just, like, all right, like, you know, we had our little problem. You know, the, the administrators told us to just drop it and we dropped it okay so basically um i was talking to this boy from the rival school 
and um like every time she'd go to you know uh, every time orange would go to the basketball games i would go with her because you know or, um um the guy i was talking to was playing too so it was just like it was kind of a one-one situation but i'm still stuck on the same dread like oh my god um he had did me mad dirty like the guy i was talking to did me dirty so i was so sad crying throwing up all that and i was just like nah like i can't go to these games anymore because every time i see him it'd be like it'd be like ugh, i just be falling back into the trap like it was, it was toxic it was so toxic so i was like yeah i told orange yeah like i can't go anymore like at least just for now because like you know i really gotta you know focus on my mental and stuff and she was like i bet like that's cool like i understand after that um her and um orange and um blue started to just go to the games together and i didn't really care because it was just like you know like She's going to go with someone. And I had no issue with, with Orange, like, at all. Like, I mean, no, yes, I did. Because I really wanted to fight her. But it's just, like, I'm not, I'm not, oh, my God. Like, oh, she's at the game. Oh, my God. Like, no. Like, it wasn't like that. Like, it was just, like, all right. Like, you know, she hanging out with, with Orange. All right. Yeah, whatever. As long as, as long as Orange keeps it cute. No, she ain't. Like, I, <laughs> I always say this. You could be friends. If you want to be friends with someone, I don't, I don't mess with. That's cool. But just don't be telling them my business and stuff. Right, that's, when, that's when it starts to become a problem. Well, I know I'm chill. I'm cool. Like, you know, and Orange, you know, she, she fucked with me. I fucked with her. So I was like, it was never like, you know, it was never a question about it. So I didn't really like feel away like when she'd go to games or like, you know, um, blue. I guess one time they yeah, I went to a game or whatever. And they was like, they was with their other friend and it was on an Uber. And I guess, um, like, I guess Blue had mentioned me that I looked like, um, the guy I was talking to from the rival school, I looked like his ex. And she was like, just saying I was ugly and stuff. Like she was calling me ugly in the Uber. And what I didn't like was that Orange kind of told me this like way after the fact. Like this happened probably like January, February, and she told me all the way in like April, May. And I'm just like, why are you not telling me this? Why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you tell me this like when it actually happened? Because like, what am I gonna do with this information? Like, I'm not gonna go press her because it's like this happened mad long ago. But I just didn't really like that because just like if it's supposed to be my friend, my best friend, like you know, don't you think that that's something you should have been told me, not something you, like, hide from me? I just didn't really like that. That's That was, like, one of my red flags. I was just like, yeah, like, that's not, that's weird. Because I feel like, you know, if it was vice versa, and then, like, on top of that, I was just like, why she feel comfortable saying that around you? Like, were you defending me? Like, what's up? Like, were you agreeing with her? Like, I just didn't really like that weird stuff. Like, shortly after, I eventually cut Orange off. Um, I cut her off because, you know, Blue was her best friend, and you know, Blue was talking crazy about me every minute. And it's just like, I can't be friends with somebody that could blatantly talk about me like that. And, you know, you still their friend. Like, I can't, no, I don't, I don't do that stuff. Like, if you could be friends with somebody that's really, like, disrespecting my name on, on that type of, like, and it's like, it's constantly doing that. I can't bangs with you, bro. Like, I can't do that. I don't do that fake shit. I don't do that weird stuff. And I just wasn't really messing with that. So I was like, yeah, like, I'm just make it, I'm gonna make it very easy for you. I'm gonna just move myself out of your life. I'm not gonna make it a true situation. And at that point, it was looking like she was taking blue side more than mine. So I was like, ah, yeah, like, I see what I, I gotta go. Like, I gotta go. You know, I gotta just remove myself out of this, this situation before it gets worse. Oh my God, don't tell me not to cut my hair. Whew. But yeah, so... After that, I really did not hear from her. I ain't hear from Blue. I ain't hear nothing about Orange. Like, I ain't hear nothing or nothing. Like, I was really just living my life with my my friends. After that, like, you know, just, it was like, it was kind of like an out of sight, out of mind. And that's what I really like to do a lot of the times. Like, out of sight, out of mind, I don't see you. So it's just like, I don't think of you. Like, when I don't see you, when I remove you from my social medias and stuff, you know, I just, like, I'm doing that for me, like, and I feel like people don't understand that. They feel like, oh, when you block people, you bothered. No, I'm blocking you because, or I'm removing you off of socials because it's out of sight, out of mind. When I don't see you on my social medias, when I don't see you in other people's likes, when I don't see you, your, your, your post on my, 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 um, timeline, it's, you know, it helps me move on. It helps me, like, that's, that's really what helps me. And it's just like, why would I keep somebody else's social media? I'm not liking your post. I'm not interacting with your page. I'm not doing none of that. So you're really just like, you're just dead weight. Every single person I stopped talking to, I removed them off social media. Like, I don't, I don't do that. Like, I don't really like, I don't do that. And if you really like, if you're really like, if it's like a guy and he really clocking me, he bother me, he blowing my phone up, you getting blocked. Like, I'm sorry. Like, I can't do that. So why you put me on that block list? 
I'm trying to get through them on that block list. So now we at like what we like what really, really set the fight off. And I feel like, you know, this is my chance to tell my side of the story. Cause it's like, you know, people hearing this and they hearing that and they see him posting it and they think they probably think of, oh nah, like, you know, no, I'm about to tell I'm about to tell my side of the story. I'm not saying I was right. But this is what happened. This is what really happened, right? We were doing hybrid learning. This is junior year. All the other stuff that happened before, that's, that's sophomore year. We were in 10th grade. So we in 11th grade now. So this is like the fresh begin beginning of 11th grade. This is like like September. So basically, you know, we was doing the hybrid learning and stuff, whatever the case may be. And um, there was like a fire drill at the school. And this day, we I was at home. This this is the day I was at home, like, cause you know there'd be days where you um people would go to school, and then there'd be days people go home, or well, stay at home, like learn from home. So this is my learn from home day, right? So there was a fire drill, and um like the teacher had left, like they like the teacher was supposed to just like leave either their iPad or like take their iPad with them, but leave all the other kids like in the class, like in the Google Meet. One of my friends had, um, she had told us, oh, like, you know, join our class, like, join our, like, you know, our Google Meet. And I was like, I am. So, you know, she sent the code. After we joined, like, I'm scrolling through to see, like, you know, who's in the class. I see a couple people I know. I see a couple of my friends. I'm like, oh, shit, like, you know. And then I see Blue's name. And that's when I'm like, oh, shit, like, the ops is in here. So that's where I could say I was, you know. But I said ops because just like, all right, like, this is a girl I don't you know bangs with and like this is a girl like you know that was calling me ugly calling me fat calling me all types of things so like yeah like you're op like you're like you're weird like you're i don't i don't bangs with you bro so yeah i'm gonna call you an op like and that's to this day like i don't care like if i don't mess with you you're i mean to this day i want to call her op like she's irrelevant so i guess she felt a way about it she was like oh la like you know oh calling me op whatever and she had texted my friend Mind you, I'm the one that said it. So, I told my friend, nah, like, tell her if she got a problem to text my phone. Like, don't, don't, don't text, don't text, don't text my friend. Like, text me. Like, because at the end of the day, I said it. So, I told her that. And then that's when Blue texted my phone. She was like, oh, like, why were you in the group call, calling me an op, this and that. And we just kept going back and forth and stuff. And that's when I'm like, and I, I simply told her, I was like, I'm not going to lie. Like, if you're not trying to get it on don't like don't don't text my phone like don't don't come on my phone doing this all this politic and i'm not doing that like if you're not trying to fight don't text my phone like because there's, there's no point what are we we're gonna sit down and argue like oh or text back and forth argue like no like i want to fight you so if you don't want to fight get off my line so that's when she was like oh okay so yeah we could fight and i was like oh okay like, I wasn't expecting that. I was like, oh, okay, so you want to fight? All right, let's fight. And at this point, I can't back out now. I can't be like, oh, nah, never mind. And, like, honestly, like, low-key, I, I, I always had, like, confidence in myself because, you know, I played volleyball, like, for a long time. So, like, not a long time, but I played volleyball for some time. So, like, I'm not I'm not weak. Like, you know, I got, I know I have hands. Like, I know I have hands. Like, that's why at this point, I don't let nobody play with me because I know, like, I know I could back up my... You know, like, I could talk my ish and I could back it up with my hands. Like, what are you talking about? And she was like, yeah, we could fight today. I think she was talking about, like, the day of. I'm like, oh, hell no. I'm like, girl, like, you gonna have, we gonna have to figure out a day. Like, I'm not talking about next week. I'm talking, I, I told her, like, oh, we could do it on Friday. Like, we could, fight, we could fight on Friday. Like, you know, school's done. Like, that's, you know, like, after that, like, the week is over. Like, you know, like, but niggas have school. Like, I'm not trying to, she was like, oh, nah, like, you're mad scary, this and that. Oh, cause I didn't want, cause I, I didn't want to fight the day of. Girl, I'm not prepared for that. Are you dumb? And I need my mans there. My, my friends. I'm gonna keep saying that cause yeah, you know, you know. I, w I want my friends there. Like, I'm not trying to, I'm, I'm trying to fight and my, my gang is behind me. Like, I'm not like, yo, like, and we all got, you know, we like some of us had jobs, like we had things to do. So I'm just like, I'm not going to fight you and just like mm, be lacking. Like I'm n never, never fight nobody dolly. You never know. And like, it's just like my whole thought process was like, oh, what if they try to jump me? Like, you know, like I'm not, I'm not trying to get jumped. So I was like, yeah, like we gonna have to figure out a day and that's when we could do it. So then after that, it was just like a whole, but it was like a whole mess on Snapchat because basically, let me tell y'all what happened, right? I'm chilling. It's after class, you know, I'm chilling. I'm just chilling in my bed. Like, you know, I, I, I stayed home that day. I think I had like, I think that was my home day, right? So school had just freshly ended. Like I'm talking like, it's probably like 
school ended like um during like that time i think like 2 45 so it was probably like three o'clock it was three o'clock i'm chilling on my bed this and that like really just really just on i think i'm probably on tiktok texting my friends whatever i hear somebody knocking on my door like and it's not and i had like knock like rampant knocking and ringing i'm just like in my head i'm like all right i don't know who this could be because my sisters are off at college my dad is home my brother's home so who and this is when my instincts really clicked i'm like oh nah like somebody's outside like and this is when i thought i was gonna get jumped because i'm just like oh nah like they really knocking on my door like they really got like business to handle so i go to my mom's room i look at the window and i see blue and orange and orange mom i'm like all right bro like you know now we snitching to mothers like that really that really lost me like that that lost me all completely i'm just like we supposed to get the ones we supposed to fight and you bring it you bring a mom around i called my friend and i told her yo like you know and i, I told all my friends like yo like i think i'm about to have to fight right now i'm not gonna lie like if y'all can't make it that's fine i'll let y'all know what happens and like honestly like the only real reason why like i really wanted people there for real is because i needed a video to be recorded like you know i'm not i'm not gonna fight this girl and i'm not, i'm not getting video proof that i beat your ass like you know like so yeah and also just like not get the whole not getting jumped situation so yeah so basically i opened the door i put my i put my i put my volleyball gear on i put my shorts on my my shoes on and my and a t-shirt have my bond i had my hair tied up i was like yeah bro we about to get the one so then you know i opened the door i'm like i right, so what's up like you about to fight right now and you know orange mom is just like nah like we we came to talk to your parents i'm gonna talk to my parents talk to my parents about what like what are you what are you talking about talking to my parents about at that point my sister's um old best friend um i had texted her i told her like what happened because my sister my sisters aren't home so my sister's best friend pulled up pulled up and that's like she was talking to um orange's mom like majority of the time because my mom was at work and i i already i told my mom like what happened and stuff and you know, she was on the way. My mom was tired. Like, she didn't even really want to deal with all that for real. Because I don't think nobody in my house really got in a fight before. Not that I know of. Like, not like, you know, pull up to, pull up to people's houses and no, like, not like that. And then my dad is over here. Like, he's mad. Like, he's upset. He's like, oh my God. Like, Claudia, like, why are you getting into problems? I'm like, bro, I don't care. Like, and I was like, bro, that's really what's getting me tight. Like, my dad really didn't understand. Like, I'm not going to lie. Like, this girl... She been calling me fat. She been calling me all types of names. Like, just, like, really disrespecting me. Like, you really think I'm not gonna want to beat this bitch up? Like, are you crazy? Like, no. Like, I was, no. Like, I was not having it. Like, I really, I didn't care. Like, I don't care if I got in trouble. I don't care about none of that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna defend myself. If somebody's talking crazy about me, and she talking crazy, I'm gonna get crazy. These hands gonna get crazy. We both gonna get crazy. Like, I don't play that shit, bro. I don't play that disrespect. Like, you disrespect me. You disrespect anybody I love, you get you get your ass beat. Period. Eventually, my mom came. Why my nose looking like that? <laughs> Anyways, my mom came, and um, she she pulled up and she was just like, she was just trying to like be the peacemaker, you know, like she was just trying to like squash the issue. So we just all had a conversation, and she was like, Nah, Claudia not gonna fight nobody. She not doing that. Like we just gonna leave it here. She fight someone. She fight you. We gonna like we gonna send her to Africa. My mom was not being for real, and I don't know why anybody thought she was being for real. My mom was just saying that just to say it. She was. She didn't even care. Like I'm not gonna lie. My mom didn't even care. Like I can say that to this day. My mom ain't care. Like she really didn't. Cause if she really cared, I would have never fought that girl, and I did. So uh, I got my one. So what is you talking about? Like she's a mother. Like she's not gonna. She's not gonna come up like yeah, my daughter gonna fight you. Like no, my mom is a very respectful um very put together you know woman like she's a very yeah like she's very classy so no like she was like oh she's gonna get in trouble like and and like her saying she gonna send me to africa is another way of her saying like she gonna get in trouble she's like fight you and stuff i ain't get in trouble though to this day i ain't never got in trouble after that whole conversation because you know my mom my mom and like even let them come in our house like orange blue orange mom they was all in my crib we was all sitting down in the living room having a peaceful conversation this is gonna be tight. I'm like, why are you inviting these people in the crib? Like, bro, these people, these people trying to, trying to violate me. Like, I don't see them be tight, but whatever. Lou, you know, took it upon herself to go post. Well, I posted something first. I think I did. Either me or my friend posted, my friend posted something first. 
um we posted a screenshot because i got a video i posted a video of them outside of my house and orange's mom talking to me i'm like nah like not they put up to my crib like with their mom like i was like that's mad that's mad crazy and then blue screenshot it it was like oh like oh Cla um claudia's mad like pussy this and that like um her mom said if she fights she gets sent back to africa she can't fight me this and that i'm like i thought that's what i was like yeah bro See, this, I'm not going outside like this. Because, I, I, bro, like, I'm not, bro, like, I'm not scary. Like, the only reason why I did not touch that girl is because my mom told me not to. If my mom told me, go ahead and do what you want, I was going to beat her ass. Like, that's that's just period. Like, that's just period. It was, like, a few days past. Like, we was really, like, me and my friends, we was begging my mom, like, yo, like, please. Like, can we please fight her? Let her fight her, this and that. My mom was not jacking it. We was like, all right, whatever. And then, what the reason why I was begging her though is because let me tell y'all what happened right so basically um blue was sending my friend at the time voice notes she was sending voice notes and she was mocking my mom's african accent mind you when we was all in the living room having a peaceful conversation my mom's african accent is my bro like my mom has been in america for like how long ago like 20 years like 19 years now like the African accent is not that heavy. And she was mocking my mom. And in my head, I'm like, all right, you're dis you're being disrespectful to someone I love. So now you're definitely getting your ass beat. Since you think shit is sweet, since you think shit is cute, since you think you could be disrespecting my mother, I'm really going to beat your fucking ass. Like, I was, bro, like, I was so tight. I'm getting tight right now talking about it. Like, bro, I was so tight i was like yeah bro because just like my mom like she was really trying to be respectful like she even gave you a hug and you over here like you over here like mocking her like and i, I ain't come for i ain't come for none of her family members i ain't, I ain't talking nothing about none of her family members so i was just like i was really confused like and like literally the whole time like the whole time my whole my whole thing with blue was that i never had an issue with her like, the whole time she was calling me ugly, calling me fat. I was calling her pretty. I was saying she was very pretty. I mean, anytime somebody would be like, oh, she's ugly, I'd be like, nah, you're bugging. Like, she's that cute. Like, even though, like, you know, even though we don't binge with each other, I'm not going to sit here and lie. Like, you know, she's she's a very pretty girl. At that point, I was just fed up. I'm like, it's it, bro. Like, we just need to fight to get this over with. Like, sometimes you need to fight somebody to just shut them up. And that's my whole thing. Once you lost the fight, once you lost, once you took that L, you can't talk nothing about me anymore. You lost stuff. You got beat up, bro. There's a video of you getting, like, bro. So, it was that Friday that I said I wanted to fight, right? I ain't seen nothing until I ain't texted none of that. So, me and my friends, we was getting ready. You know, we was getting our Ubers to, um to our other friend's crib so we could walk to her house and you know because we knew her addy well I, they knew her addy i didn't know her addy but you know they knew her addy so that day she texted me she was like oh you still blue texting me she was like oh you still come to my crib i ain't seen nothing to her i just i was like i'm just gonna pull up on a bitch i'm not even gonna say nothing i don't need to say nothing are you you just gonna see my crazy ass so i'm not gonna sit here and say oh yeah i was ready i was nervous like i was so nervous for this fight bro because i was like i've never been in a fight i don't know if i got hands like that like i was having faith in like you know like you know my my strength from playing volleyball but i was like i don't know because just because i'm bigger doesn't mean like you know you could you could you could be a big person and fight a little person that little person's whooping you like you know like so it's just like i wasn't really gonna be like oh nah i'm bigger than her so i could beat her up like no like i don't know i don't know what hands she got she can got she can have great hands i wouldn't know so at that point, I was a little nervous. I was having, you know, butterflies in my stomach. And I was having moths in my stomach. Like, I was, I was, I was nervous, bro. Because I was like, I can't take this L. I can't lose the fight. Like, you know, I can't lose. I can't lose. We pull up to her crib. And her sister's at the front door. I, I had a video of her. So I posted that. I posted it too. Like, her sister was at the front door talking about something. She gonna call the police if we don't move from her property. So I'm like, all right. So we start walking away. We like, listen, we tried. We was telling her, look, no, like, tell Blue to come outside. Tell Blue to come outside. She was not jacking it. Her sister was not jacking it. She was like, we, we gonna call the cops if you don't leave right now. Like, I'm giving y'all five seconds. She started counting down. So we was like, all right, we out, we out. So we started walking away, right? And then I hear yelling. And then I I turn around and I see blue, so I'm like, ah yeah, so we about to we about to get we about to get it on. So I put my bag down, and then, you know, she start running, and then I peep. Why well, she had a taser in her hand? Why the bitch had a taser in her hand? I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, what what is going on? Like I was so confused, bro. Where did you get the taser from, bro? Like, I thought we was throwing hands, not weapons. Like, I'm like, and I, I told her, bro, turn up. I was like, yo, put that weapon down, bro. I was like, put the weapon down. Like, we not doing this. Like, 
put it down like and she's like no like she she's running towards me i'm like all right so i'm gonna just have to i'm gonna just have to take the l and at that point bro my adrenaline was pumping so i i literally ran into danger like she still had the the weapon in her she still had the taser in her hand she was she was making that that thing make sounds of like, whatever the, like she was she was doing all that so i ran up on her and to my luck i was able to slap that taser out of her hand the taser the taser went like on the street and mind you at this time orange was with her watching the fight her her um her cousin was there this irrelevant girl i'm not she she's not even relevant relevant enough for relevant enough for a name but she was there too and you know it was all just really just being instigated i was i was like oh like and i was I, we was just fighting and stuff we was tussling i was getting my hits in though like i was like and she was pulling on my hair she was pulling on my hair scratching me i'm like girl this is not a cat fight like we over here really trying to throw hands i'm trying to throw my punches and she like and then her sister's in the in the middle of the fight if you make me mad enough to the point that i'm putting my hands on you i feel like i'm really 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 mad like if you know me i'm very i'm very like i'm very chill I'm very, you know, no, I'm not chill. I'm a little, I'm a little laced, but like, I'm not, I'm not over here, like trying to fight everybody. Like, no, like I'm very, like very chill. So it's just like, you know, and her sister ain't do nothing to me personally. So I'm just like, I'm not about to start hitting on her sister. So I, you know, I was kind of disadvantaged because I'm just like, bro, like I'm trying to, I'm trying to hit blue. Her sister's in between. I'm not, I'm not hitting her sister. I'm not doing, I'm not hurting her. Like that's OD. Like, you know, I got some morals. I got some respect. Like, you know, the fight wasn't really even like. It wasn't even really fair for real. Like, honestly, if if it was like just me and her, like if it's just like if we had went to like a like a, a park or something and we had fought there, I would have definitely violated. Like I already know. Like I already know. Like I was tight. I would have violated. But like just the simple fact that like her sister was in between us and then and then her cousin got in between us trying to break up the fight, I was like, yeah, bro. Like it's not looking too good. But I still got my hits in. Like, I was still getting my hits in. But she was pulling my hair the whole time. And it actually was her. And my hair was freshly dyed. I had just got my hair done. I had just got my hair done. I was tight. I'm just like, bro, I got to fight. Like, you know, it's not even like I got, you know, I got some long dreads. Heavy as hell. I was tight. And then eventually, like, like she, you know, her sister's just saying, like, y'all need to stop. Y'all need to stop this and that. And then I'm like, nah, like, like tell her to let go of my hair. Like, what what the hell? Like, like I'll stop. But tell her to get off my hair. Like, I can't stop if you pull on my hair. And after that, she was like, after that, after she let go of my hair, she was like, yeah, I won. I beat you up. Oh, like, look, you guys, you got scratches all over your face. I'm like, girl, it's because you scratched me with those long nails. Like, I don't, like, if I had long nails, I would have scratched you too. But no, like, uh, no, like, I, I came prepared. Like, I came to fight like a, like a nigga. Like, I came to fight like a real person fights. I can't, I ain't come here to scratch you and pull your hair. Like, I ain't do that. After that, she was jacking. She won the fight. I'm just like, bro. We posted the video. They saw the truth. Like, I'm not gonna lie. None of her friends, like, none of them posted a fight video. And my whole thing with that is like, I'm not gonna lie. If your friend really beat me up, if she really violated me like y'all said she did, Y'all would have been quick to post that fight video. Y'all would have posted it. That, that's what you do. Like, when you fight and you win the fight, you post the video. Like, that's just, that's just, that's just law. Like, you would have posted the video. None of the, none of her friends posted the video. They was like, oh, we didn't get a video. Yeah, y'all did. Y'all, y'all just saw your friend got beat up. That's why y'all didn't post the video. Like, goodbye. I posted a video. Dick Riders was swiping up. Oh, she beat you up. And what is it? It wasn't even like it wasn't bro. It was like her friends like swiping up on my stuff. Block, 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 blocked all them. Every every single person I swiped up. Oh, she beat you up. Blocked. They're like, why are you texting my phone? Like, get out. Like, you tight. You tight your man's walls. After that, you know, we we escaped home. My brother came to pick us up from my friend's house, and um, we went home. And then after that, we was just gonna chill for the rest of the for the rest of the day, cause just like you know, like it's a Friday, we was just gonna chill. So after that, I'm chilling, right? And I I'm chilling. We all chilling in my room, and I'm hearing like doors slam and stuff outside of my crib. And I'm just like, it's mad doors, and I hear mad cars and stuff. So I'm just like, mm, this don't sound right. I look out the window. Tell me why her her fa blues family and orange family came like five cars deep to my house. And my, as I said, if you won the fight, you would have never came to my crib. You came to my crib because you're tight. You lost. Like, 
Bro, I, I say this all the time. If you took your W, you would have been home. You would have been lit. You would have posted a video. Oh, we won. We beat her up. You come into my crib because you're tight. You're like, all right, she need to take an L either way. And the only reason why they came to my house was to tell my mom that I fought. But they ain't know that my mom ain't care if I fought her or not. They thought I was going to be sent to Africa. Never got sent to Africa. I was living the I was living my best life actually. My mom ain't care. <laughs> like my mom ain't care. Like my mom is W man's for that too. Cause she really lied to y'all. She really told she really made y'all think that I was gonna get in some type of trouble. I ain't getting no type of trouble. I won the fight. I ain't getting no trouble. <laughs> y'all niggas is tight. <laughs> You're tight. Sheesh. But yeah, so I was really like and we was like, low key, we was scared because like, it's grown people like at my crib. Bang, they was banging on my door. New door my dad just installed, banging on it. I'm like, I'm just appalled. Like, I'm shocked. I'm shocked. Because I'm just like, y'all really pounding on my door. Y'all are disrespectful. I'm really like, on my door. Like, I'm like, oh, nah, like. And my dad, like, he was scared because it's like, bro, like, my dad doesn't, like, he doesn't understand what's going on. And it's like, this has never happened before. And he's like, he don't know these people. And it's mad people outside of my crib. I should have called the police. I should have called the police. Because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, your child, your child brought out the weapon. Not me. All right? Like, we all young here. Listen, we was, no, we was like 16. So I wouldn't have gone, we wouldn't have gone to jail. But it's just like, you're at my house, on my porch, on my property, banging on my door. I should have called the cops. That's exactly what I should have done. And your child pulled out a weapon, a taser. Cause what 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 would have happened if I got tased? Yeah, you would have been in trouble. Like that's that's just simple. After that, my friends was like, my friends was fake scared because like their their parents are calling them, and like their parents are like trying to see like yo like what's up like you know like why are y'all not home? And it's just like we're not home because we got a whole bunch of adults outside of my friend's house trying to trying to press us, trying to press some kids. Like what's up like. Because your kid lost, lost the fight, like, you know? And you thought that I was going to get sent to Africa, I guess. I don't know. But, uh, listen, that, that was the biggest lie of 2020. <laughs> <laughs> that shit to this day got me weak because they really... Like, I was clowning for a mad long. I posted, I posted a picture of a suitcase. I was like, Claudine got me. Hashtag going back to Africa. I was clowning on Snap for mad long. Like... I was clowning. I'm mad funny, like, for real, like. I, like, they was outside my house for mad long, but as I said, my mom did not care. So my mom did not talk to any of them. Like, they literally was outside my house for mad long for no reason because my mom was not speaking to any of them. That was it. That, that, that's it. That's it, for the, that's, it, that's it for the video, like, honestly. Like, that's really it. Like, as I said, like, my mom did not care. Like, but I know that's, like, what people really thought. Like, people really thought that I was going to be sent to Africa and stuff, but that literally never happened. <laughs> like that never happened it was never going to happen um my mom was just saying anything so my mom was just being a parent at the end of the day like you know so yeah that's basically it like for really what happened like and honestly i could definitely say like we was both like we was both in the wrong but yeah like basically all i gotta say is that i was young we was young we was 16 we didn't even graduate and honestly we was lucky because the school never found out about it like i mean they probably did find out but it's just like bro like it wasn't even on school property it was at her house and it's just like what were they gonna do like what, 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 what was y'all gonna do like y'all was gonna suspend me like i'm just not gonna come back at, like, at all like it was literally the pandemic so it's just like you know but it was far way far from school property it wasn't on any other school property i don't think i'd ever get into a fight again unless it was absolutely necessary and even then, we're eight, I'm 18. So, like, if I was to get into a fight and somebody wants to press charges, I could go to jail. So, I'm not going to be doing no stupid, stupid stuff like that. Like, what I learned is that, you know, I definitely was instigating. I definitely was, you know, being a little, like, I was definitely, as I said, not right in the situation. But I wasn't wrong either. You know, like... You know, like, I wasn't, like, I had every way, I had every right to feel how I felt. Like, you know, like, if somebody's constantly, like, coming for, your, for like, how you look and stuff. And it's just, like, at that time, I wasn't really even confident in myself. So, it was, like, really making me upset to hear, like, somebody constantly call me fat and stuff. Because just, like, that was really, like, a trigger for me, you know? So, it's, like, I just felt, like, I just really, I really wasn't, I really wasn't happy about it, like, at all. And that's why I wanted to put my hands on her. Because just, like, you know what? 
I'm not going to let you keep playing with me. Like, I'm not going to let you keep doing that. So it's just like my thought process was, I right, I'm going to fight her, you know? And at this point, that's definitely not my thought process now. Like, if somebody's talking about me, they're just, they're just jealous. They're just tight. Not jealous, but they're just like, they're just a hater. Like, they're just a hater. Um, and you got to just, that, that's the type of stuff you got to just move on from. But honestly, sometimes fighting is the answer. I'll definitely say that. Sometimes it is the answer. Because from after that, I ain't hear nothing about nothing. Like, I should, like, she don't, she, none of that. Like, now, nah, one time I was, I was, one time we was in a room to take the SAT. And me and her, we got the same last name. So, we was in a room to take the SAT. And she, like, she, I think she sat either behind me or next to me. I think she sat behind me. And when she was coming to class, she bucked at me and my friend. <laughs> she was like, girl, you lost the right. Like, <laughs> like what is Bucket go do? Like, girl, you think I'm scared? Like, girl, I'm not scared of you. Like, to this day, I'm not scared. Like, if I was scared, I wouldn't be dropping this video. Like, I, like it, like, you know, like, I'm not, no, like, I'm not scared of none of that. But as I said, like, I'm, this is not a video of me trying to talk shit. Like, you know, you ain't hear me, like, talk bad about none of it. Like, you know, but... This is, you know, like, you know. But, yeah, that's basically it for the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn those post notifications on. Because I have a lot of video, I have a lot of content coming for you guys. Especially cause since I'm going back home. Um, But, yeah. So, I'll see y'all on the flip side. Before you block me, I'm trying to text you. I'm sorry that I hurt you. I'm a street nigga with a name, but sorry shit just ain't worth it. And I'm sorry what I did to you. I know you didn't deserve it. I told you about all the hoes I fucked. You got a little discouraged.